strange things took place. In fact, that I came back and I was asking God, what are you up to? My mission is not to make money. Money can be controlled. So whenever you need it, you invoke it. If you think God lives in heaven, my friend, you pray for years and years, you see nothing. There was a fellowship that I, I felt led to be part of. And um, those were the days that, you know, before I left camp, campus, little anointing had come on my life. So when I went for youth service, it was an opportunity for me to train myself in the law, train myself for ministry. So when we got part of that fellowship and got involved, and the hand of God began to come on me, hallelujah. I was a simple teacher and an intercessor at that time. I was not a powerful man. But when I finished teaching, the glory of God will come into that place and all kinds of encounters will begin to take place. In fact, some of them, I, I, I don't even know how it comes. So there were preachers in that fellowship that felt that I was stealing the show. So what they did was that they got a lady to testify against me that I committed fornication with her. So, and as my custom is, I don't defend myself. Now, if it is me you are attacking, forget about it, I won't, I won't say anything. But if you, if, you, if you are doing something that will bring injury to the body of Christ, me, I can't sleep. That thing you are doing, do it without putting it online because you are going to damage the body. I will rise up. I have a calling along that line to respond to you. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That my practice you are trying to sell, I will use the Bible and pick it out. But this is not, this is contraband. And when I'm doing that kind of business, I don't bring the person into the view. What is wrong is not the person. What is wrong is the my practice. Do you understand that? So I, that, it's part of my business, okay? So the lady testified that I disverging her. So the whole congregation said, yes, I, I kept quiet. Even my friends, close friends, came to ask me, is there, it, no, don't worry. That's not what you respond. Don't defend yourself. Allow God, you know God, it just like Jesus was killed and buried, and then the court of heaven sat on the matter, and then resurrection was the response of the final justice terminal. Ah. Don't be in a hurry to prove. Don't stand up and say, hey. it means if you do that, you are, you are guilty. You, are, you have something. There's something you are trying to preserve. So, I kept quiet. Kept quiet. Then, I now went to minister somewhere, not too far away. And three crippled people walked in that meeting. And the news of that empowerment, he went back to the fellowship. So the leader said, this man did not have this anointing before. The anointing, we know how God uses him. He raises cripples now. They began to check themselves. Then I went somewhere again to minister. Strange things took place. In fact, that I came back and I was asking God, what are you up to? Are you there? When these things began to take place, then God went to torment the lady <laughs> that brought the false testimony. The torment was strange and then she came and confess that, ah, it is this pastor that came to tell me to do. I was not even in that city when the confession broke out. So by the time I came back, the elders came and, you know, were in the house of God. And 
They even their presentation was even very terrible. They couldn't coordinate. But you know what? God had elevated me. That was how God gave me openings to begin to preach in cities and in other places. So I, I, I didn't have time to be available for, fellowship, for the fellowship again. God opened doors and I began to minister in. I follow you? And I didn't have time to be available. Not because I didn't want to be available, but there were so many kingdom things that opened up that I had to attend to. And when I was already operating on this tangent of grace and power, it was one year later that the truth now came out. As at the time the truth came out, I didn't even need that truth. Because it was obvious from the verdict of heaven, in keeping with the spirit of glory that already rested, that heaven has already judged the matter. Are you, are you following don't defend yourself. Allow heaven to judge the matter.